The thyroid's a gland in the front portion of the neck, and it secretes thyroid hormone. This hormone helps control metabolism throughout the body. Hypothyroidism is having an underactive uh, thyroid, not enough thyroid hormone. Hyperthyroidism is having too much thyroid hormone. When a patient is hypothyroid, they often can gain weight, feel lethargic or tired. They can at times have some hair loss. When a patient is hyperthyroid, they can at times feel like they are losing weight. They have shakes or tremors. They have extra heartbeats or palpitations or maybe hot flashes. The thyroid and various thyroid illnesses can dramatically affect the success of a future pregnancy or an ongoing pregnancy. Thyroid hormone is required by the developing baby during pregnancy, and if there is not enough or if there is too much thyroid hormone, this can cause harm to the baby itself. If the mother is hypothyroid, the baby itself can be uh, at risk for other potential harm. There can be an increased risk of miscarriage early in the pregnancy, and there can also be potential damage to the developing brain in the fetus, leading to other cognitive uh, problems or lower IQ later in life. If the mother is hyperthyroid, there can at times be a risk of miscarriage or other pregnancy harm if the levels of thyroid hormone are excessively high in the mother. The baby can also be born with signs of Graves' disease or other signs of hyperthyroidism in rare cases. It's very important that the mother contact their physician or their endocrinologist as soon as they think they could be pregnant because the increasing demand for thyroid hormone in pregnancy occurs very early, sometimes as early as five or six weeks of pregnancy. Our research here at the Brigham and Women's Hospital has demonstrated that the requirement for thyroid hormone goes up about 40 percent during the course of pregnancy. This is very important because some women do not have a functioning thyroid. If they are then taking thyroid hormone as a pill, they will need to increase the dose of that pill to be adequately uh, th normal throughout the course of pregnancy. This is very important for the baby and for the developing fetus. Any patient with a thyroid illness would benefit from being in close contact with their physician or with an endocrinologist who specializes in thyroid disorders. If someone suspects that they have a thyroid disorder, they should first reach out to their primary care physician or directly to an endocrinologist to discuss the issue. This will often lead to an examination and then some blood testing to identify if indeed there is a problem that needs to be treated.